hey everyone welcome back i have a fun video today for you guys so i did go to lush yesterday and i do want to show you a few clips that i took while i was there and then when we come back we will talk about what i hauled most of this was um halloween and some of the barbie collection i was running low on my bath bombs bubble bars I'm still a Lushy. Yes, I enjoy wets, but Lush was my first love and I still enjoy that. That's still one of my biggest hobbies. I enjoy buying, using, collecting Lush. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, you guys, here we are. Arriving to Lush. So yeah, you guys, I'm just showing you the different bath bombs, the Halloween releases, basically. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the video. Okay, welcome back, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a quick little snippet of the Lush store. I'm not a, a vlogger or blogger. I'm just getting into learning more about YouTube videos. So just wanted to share a little bit of my trip to Lush. So I got a lot of good stuff here. Look how huge this bag is. So we're just gonna dig in. All right, this is the first one that I took out, and I'm going to show you guys. So, I got a lot of bath bombs and bubble bars. Let me take some of this off. So, this one is called the UFO. Look at that. It's so pretty. Mm, this smells really good. On the inside, if I can show you guys without spilling it. So, this is like a three-in-one. The topper can be used as one bath. The spaceship or UFO can be used as one. And then the inside are, are green um, sea salt. Yeah, I did write down some notes. It says lemongrass and berry. And this also has um, black currant absolute. This to me, I hope I don't have powder dust everywhere. Look at my hands. This to me smells like your typical um, Lush type of scent. This smells like apple bath or any type of lemongrass, the lemon type of scent. And it's called UFO. Um, I didn't put pricing. I'm sorry, you guys, but you got to bear with me. We got a lot. So the second bath bomb is one that I've had as well. And this is Bat Art so pretty and shimmery this is scented in the junk um perfume at first i did not care for this scent it makes the water like a really pretty black and purple color with glitter um yeah at first i didn't care for this scent but this one to me smells like a a herbal type of scent but with a hint of citrus you have to be into those like heavy herbaceous types of scent to enjoy it but i like that one well i've purchased it several times all right i wrote the name on the outside so i can remember lush when you go in the store they give you these types of bags um to put your items in Lush is all about recycling. They have a wonderful recycling program, you guys. Okay, so this one is the Ghosty. Oh my goodness. Oh, he smells so good. Mm, like an orange sherbet or a sweet tart. This smells like a sweet tart. 
I think this one was about, I think $7.50. What did I put about Ghosty? I put that it smells like lemongrass or has lemongrass in it, but this one smells more candied like and it has popping candy. And this one makes the water a really beautiful color. The bat, um, the bath art is amazing. At the end of this video, you guys, when I show you everything, I will link my Lush Instagram. A couple of these I already have reviews for. You can go on my page and see demos of certain bath bombs before you buy them. So yeah, I think you all should check out my Lush page. This one is the Screamo Bubble Bar from the Scream Collection. Last year, Lush had, uh, and this smells really good. Last year, Lush did the Screamo Bubble Bar, I think, and it was on a stick. What is the scent notes for this? Let me see. It just says Cherry Sweet Tarts. This is like an almond cherry scent. Yeah, the bubble bar on the stick was kind of, mm, it was iffy because um, you would put it up on the water and it might break off and then you're left with a big mess. But it turned the water like a beautiful dark purple color. I haven't used this one yet, but I'm assuming that it will turn the water like a royal blue color. It smells really good. And this was one from the... Um, new collection all right what do we have oh okay first of all look at this cute little bag you guys patrick i got a spongebob one here too um let's did do a spongebob release or whatever earlier on this right here is scented in lord of misrule if you guys have been buying vendor wax, you probably ran across that Lord of Miss Ruth scent, which is patchouli, black pepper, vanilla. I don't do patchouli, but Lord of Miss Ruth is such a, it's a staple scent to have around Halloween and from Lush. It's so cozy and warm from the black pepper. It's just a great scent. I've never, I don't think I had a bubble bar. Yes, I did. Last year they did a bubble bar. But this one is shaped like a crown. It smells just like Lord of Misrule. So I'm excited for that one. All right. Let's see. This is a new one, you guys. Look at this. This is the Screaming Banshee. Kind of sick looking, but yeah. Mm. Now, this one smells like berries to me. So, Lush says sweet apples and sea salt. Maybe. I get more like of a sweet berry scent. I'm guessing it's sea salt in the bath bomb. Not sure what this one will turn to water. Probably like a pretty blue color. I have not demoed any of these. I had to show you guys what I got first. And then I will start demoing. So, like I said, make sure you follow my um, Lush Instagram. It's Lush to Love. Well, underscore Lush to Love, I think. All right. Let's see. This one I have demo and it comes out every year. This is from the Halloween collection and it is the punk, Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb. I love this one. Mm, it's sweet. It's cinnamon. Cinnamony, <laughs> if that's the word. Do I got it on my face? Um, Lush says cinnamon, wild orange, oil, and lime. I don't get any lime. I'm getting cinnamon and orange. This is a beautiful one to use. I like to use this around Halloween or um, coming up to Halloween. I'm glad they brought it back. I buy this one every year that it comes out. Y'all, I got bath bomb dust literally everywhere. Let me just show you guys this. 
So if you notice on the photo with the video, I show a pumpkin spice, like the bath melts, they are like full bigger than this. But I had to cut half of this off um, last night when I got home because it melted in the car. Yeah. And we got the, uh, went to lunch and then we stopped at a restaurant to eat. It really wasn't even hot in um, Atlanta, but that's how quick these melt. This is the half that's left and it is scented in pumpkin spice. Oh my God, you guys, this smells like wax that we smell. If you melt wax, it smells just like a uh, sweet pumpkin spice. It says, capture the scent of the season with a warm pumpkin spice latte melt for your bath or wax warmer. I have not put this in my wax warmer. I do not plan to. Um, but I did take a bath with a piece of it last night and it was very moisturizing. Um, so I just wanted to show you that because I had to cut off a piece um, since it was like melted in the bag. What do we have here? Oh Lord, I don't think I wrote anything. Oh, okay, I probably did it because this is the Barbie bath bomb. Oh, I got powder on my nose. And Bella's looking at me like, what are you talking about? You okay, mama? Anyway, come here. No tea. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so Barbie's bath bomb smells like marshmallows. <sighs> this smells like sweet pink marshmallows. And it smells really good. It definitely fits the Barbie profile. It's like a sweet marshmallow type of scent. What did I... Okay. Let's, let's just keep going. Because I hope I'm not missing something. Okay, this one is new, you guys. It's called Jason's Mummy. And it is a little mummy bath bomb. This one has like a lime type of scent. Let me see, did I write something about it? Grapefruit, yep. Definitely citrus, um, grapefruit, tangerines, oils. Yeah, I can pick that up. At first I thought I was smelling lime, but this one, I think it says supposed to like, you're supposed to charge it up on the light and then it's supposed to glow. We shall see. This just smells like a really kind of tart grapefruit. So, yeah, we shall see with that one. I read a review that said it didn't glow, so kind of hoping it does. This is another new one. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. Uh, so pretty. This is called Magic Potion. This smells floral. Yeah, this is like a sweet floral type of scent. I don't know. Some people might call this like smelling like a grandmama house or something. Because sometimes um, lush florals can go that way. <laughs> but it is floral. And I wrote down that it says popping candy and floral sweet scent. You got to like florals like this, but it is so beautiful. I cannot wait to demo this one. All right. This one is, if I didn't write a name on the outside of the bag, that means I've had it before. Yeah. Lord of Misrule. And they keep changing Lord of Misrule. Um, I like the original one. The original um, Lord of Misrule is shaped like this, but it's um, just green, I think, with like hints of specks of um, 
red i can't remember exactly but this one has like the pink and red pink and green colors and it's the same it's that patchouli black pepper vanilla i don't know how it goes together it just does um this is a favorite of mine i have the shower gel i think you can yeah let me show you this is the shower gel. So I have the perfume. I have the um, massage bar. I have everything that's scented in Lord of Miss Root. That's a favorite of mine. And I really don't care for patchouli, like melting or smelling patchouli in my home. All right, let's be careful because this one is an all white one. This is Bonehead. And this is a bubble bar. Yeah, I think the other ones I told you. Yeah, it was only two of the bubble bars. So this is Bonehead. This is so cute. Him smell good. He smell like spearmint, peppermint, a little creamy. I feel like this is a good one to take when it's hot outside, honestly. Um, yeah. Or if you have like a cold or something and you're trying to get over that icky feeling. Cause this is a nose clear and peppermint yeah um this is a bubble bar and it's pretty hefty uh what i do with my bubble bars is i either just chop it up all the way and just put a piece in a um crumble it up on the water or use one of those little i think they're called seeds or something like that um the little nets that you know drain catchers or whatever or I'll just like cut it in fours and use four. And you don't need a lot with Lush to make a lot of bubbles, honestly. Oh. All right, that's that one. We almost done, you guys. I got a lot though, cause I haven't had bought any Lush in a while. This I've had last year. And if you look on my Instagram, this does glow in the dark. This is Bubble Lugiosi. Bubble. Lujosi, something like that. Yeah, this one smells good. Mm, what did I say this is? Because I can't detect blackberry. Yeah. It kind of smells like something else, though. But this one, you charge under the light and it does glow. I've had this one before. The white part, all of this glows green if you charge it up on a light. I can't remember if it turned the water, the water glowed, but I know this glowed before I put in the water. And this is um, a bubble bar, so you can get multiple baths out of this. I picked this one up. This wasn't a new release, but um, this is the Goddess Bath Bomb. And I think this is um, named after Ariana Grande. So pretty. I haven't um, had this one in a long time. It's like um, a very glittery for one. It's like everywhere, as you can see. This is a once every now and then type of bath bomb. I don't use this one a lot or purchase it a lot because of the glitter. But the water turns like a pretty milky um, purple color. Yeah, this smells like a berry type of scent. Really nice. The lady in the Lush store convinced me to pick up that one because she said it was her favorite. So we're just going to put bath bomb, um, bath bomb dust all over me. Y'all, I got a sugar scrub. Oh, here it goes. Okay, let me talk about these first. Since we did the Barbie line, I did pick up a sugar scrub in Barbie Dreams. And it says, scrub up with swirls of sweet sugar in a fruity lemon lime scent. Y'all, oh my Lord. This smells edible. Like, I wish I could eat this. It smells so good. Mm. Let me see what the scent notes are. Um, Some ingredients are organic, 
almond oil, extra virgin coconut oil. And I used a little of this in Lush and it's very soft on the skin. Um, lemon myrtle oil, Persian lime oil, ylang ylang oil, ruby cocoa liqueur. Um, what else? Fair trade organic cocoa butter. So very moisturizing. Mm. It smells so good. I don't know. I think this is um snow fairy type. It smells really good. Like bubblegum marshmallow sweetness. Really, really good. So I'm happy to have this one. And I think this is the bubble bar. Yeah. Look at this bubble bar from that Lush created through the Barbie line. <laughs> it's a little cheap. Oh my goodness. And see, this one doesn't smell identical to this one. This smells kind of like Snow Fairy. This has like a cherry, sweet candy type of scent. Yeah. It's delicious, though. It smells really, really good. I cannot wait to use that, you guys. All right, so... We are at the end, but I got some samples. So I do got a receipt in here and I probably should have said something to you about that. That goddess bath bomb was 10. The sugar scrub here was 15. The bigger one is like 20 something. Like I said, less is expensive. Um, this bubble bar was 10.50. So different prices, some of the bath bombs, the bath bomb, um, the Barbie bath bomb was $8.50. That's a pretty good size bath bomb. So I do have a receipt, but I'm not going to go over every single item. You can go to Lush and look it up if you would like. I did get some samples and the first one is vanishing cream and moisturizer. So this I've had in a sample before. It looks like this. Really good to use on your skin for breakouts. It just smells like a moisturizer. Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleaner. I've used this one before too. This is really good. It has like lavender, um, oats in it. You um, put a little in your hand. And you can actually see the actual lavender pieces in here. Put a little on your hand, a little water, make a paste. Really good for um, your skin if you got red or breaking out. Mask of Nementi Power Mask. I've had this one before. It's a green type of face and body mask. This is good for like breakouts, acne. If you have spots on your leg, your arms, your back, this is a really good one to get. And I got two um soap samples the first one is karma let me see let's open them up yeah it smells just like the karma um shower gel which you think is like orange and oh it smells so good though it's like an orange spicy type of scent earthy almost I do like that. And we got lemon zest, which I haven't had before in soap. So, let's see. Oh, pretty yellow. Definitely looks like lemon. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. Is this edible? Like, this smells really, really good. It smells just like, like my mouth started watering. It smells like lemon zest, but with a hint of sugar in the background. Mmm, I like that one. So, I appreciate them. You know, I don't ask for samples when I go to the store. Not unless it's something that I really want to try and I'm not going to get. But I do appreciate the samples. 
so yeah that's a different type of haul you guys i just wanted to share with you what i got um from lush the next video will probably be around the holidays because i think they're doing well i know for a fact they have a huge release every um christmas is insane so that one i would try to vlog it and um do a little bit better with recording I'm not really good at recording live so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video check out my instagram or go to the list site if you would like to purchase or maybe you have some of these let me know if you purchase any of the um lush halloween collection there was a couple i still didn't get i missed the alien bubble bar i thought i had put it in my cart i mean in my bag basket but i didn't and then i was not gonna get the pumpkin bubble room because it was like 15 dollars, and the pumpkin was like this big so no ma'am i'm not doing it but other than that i do like everything I got, of course, I picked it out in store. And I'm glad I got it all intact and nothing came broken. So, I will talk to you guys later on another video. Let me know what you thought about this, if you do not mind. Um, Yeah, take care. Bye.